Hello students, welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today we will talk about the third and the fourth case of non-exact differential equations, right? So we have been talking about the integrating factor. So let us understand what is the third case of the integrating factor. So the third case of the integrating factor is when we have 1 by n curl m by curl y minus curl n by curl x and it becomes equal to some function of x. In that case, the integrating factor is e raised to power integral fx dx, right? So we need these two terms to calculate the exactness. We'll take the difference and whichever term you're writing at the back end, that is n, divide by that n. So n, you're taking the derivative with respect to x, so it should be a function in x. So in that case, the integrating factor is e raised to power integration fx dx. Likewise, we have the we have another rule, so I will be discussing that after this case, after this exercise. So first of all, let us identify our m and n. So m here is x squared plus y squared plus 3. And your n here is minus 2xy. So let us calculate curl m by curl y and curl n by curl x. So curl m by curl y is 2y and curl n by curl x is minus 2y, right? So here you can see that curl m by curl y is not equal to curl n by curl x. So let's take the difference curl m by curl y minus curl n by curl x. So how much will it become? It will be 2y minus, minus 2y that is 4y, right? Now divide this factor with now you have m and you have n so you can easily see that it is easy to divide by n. So when you divide by n minus 2xy, so you will see that y gets cancelled, 2 and 4 gets cancelled and you get minus 2 by x. So it is completely a function of x, right? So according to our rule, the integrating factor is e raised to power integration fx dx. So it is minus 2 by x dx, right? So you can write this as minus 2 times integration 1 by x dx. So that becomes e raised to power minus integration 1 by x is log x. You can take minus 2 as a exponent. So that will become e raised to power log x raised to power minus 2. e and log, they are inverse functions. So you will get your integrating factor as x to the power minus 2. So now let us multiply the non-exact equation with x to the power minus 2. So we will get x square plus y square plus 3. x to the power minus 2 is nothing but 1 by x square dx minus 2xy divided by x square dy is equal to 0. So let us reduce this. So this is 1 plus y square by x square plus 3 by x square dx then minus 2. 1 x will get cancelled and you will get 2 by y x dy is equal to 0. So what is your solution then? So your solution comes out to be integration 1 plus y square by x square plus 3 by x square dx plus integration terms of n not containing x. So this term is containing x. So we won't consider any term equal to constant c. So this term goes, right? So integration of 1 is x. Then integration x to the power minus 2 will go up. So we will get x to the power minus 1 y square minus 3 x to the power minus 1 is equal to c. So that becomes your answer. Right? Now what is the next case of integrating factor? So case number 4 says that you can do the reverse. Instead of taking the difference curl m by curl y minus curl n by curl x, you can take curl n by curl x minus curl m by curl y. So whichever number you are writing at the end, divide by that. And then it should be a function of y, right? So the integrating factor will be e raised to power integration g by d. So let's check out one exercise with this rule. So here 
we can see that this is our question. So let's identify M. So M is y to the power 4 plus 2y and N is xy cube plus 2y raised to power 4 minus 4x. So what is curl M by curl y? Curl M by curl y is 4y cube plus 2. And what is curl N by curl x? Curl N by curl x is y cube minus 4. So you can see that curl M by curl y is not equal to curl N by curl x. So let's take the difference, right? Now, out of the two terms, M and N, with which term you think division is possible? Division is possible with M, right? So let's take the difference, curl N by curl X minus curl M by curl Y. So you'll get Y cube minus 4 minus 4 Y cube minus 2, right? And so that turns out to be minus 3 Y cube minus 6. And when I divide it by M, I'll get division by Y4 plus 2Y. So I can write here Y4 plus 2Y. Let's simplify this term. So from the numerator, minus 3 can be taken common. So you'll get Y cube plus 2. From the denominator, Y can be taken common and you get Y cube plus 2. So this gets cancelled and we get minus 3 by Y. So what is our integrating factor? Integrating factor is e raised to power. So this is a function of y only, right? Integrating factor is e raised to power g y. So it is minus 3 by y d y. So you can take out minus 3 common, 1 by y d y. And that turns out to be e raised to power minus 3 log y. You can take minus 3 in the exponent. And you will see that your integrating factor is y to the power minus 3. So now let's multiply this y to the power minus 3 with the non-exact equation. So we have y4 plus 2y divided by y cube dx plus x into y cube plus 2y to the power 4 minus 4x divided by y cube into dy is equal to right. So let's split up the terms. We have y plus 2 by y square dx plus we have here x plus 2y minus 4x by y cube dy is equal to 0. So what is our solution then? So the solution becomes integration y plus 2 by y square dx plus terms of n not containing x. So this won't be considered. We will take 2y. Even this is not considered. So we take 2y dy equal to c. So y and 2 by y square both are constant. So we will get yx plus 2 by y square x plus integration of y becomes 2y square by 2. So 2, 2 cancels and we get our answer as Right. So I hope both the cases are clear when we take the difference and whatever number we are writing at the end, we divide with that number and then we take the integrating factor as e to the power that function, either dx or dy, whatever your case is. And then we follow the same method. We multiply the integrating factor with the non-exact equation and then we try to calculate the function. Right. So I hope you have understood it. And these are your practice problems that you need to solve, right? So if you're, if you're stuck up with any of these problems, do put it in the comment section, right? I'll try to give the reply. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.